Yo, what up? What's happening, man? So Michael Rocks right here. Bako, kicking it with iHipHop.com. We have one moment to lose. What's up here? iHipHop.com, chilling with Sir Michael Rocks. How's everything going on with you? Man, shit wavy right now, bro. Uh, just out here in New York. Getting ready to drop this lap of lux. I'm excited, man. Just been getting shit prepared for this drop and you know, getting all the fans ready for this music. Alright, I dig that dig. Well, speaking of that, you know what I'm saying? Lap of Lux, like, can you tell people what they can expect to hear from you? Lap of Lux? It's a lot of turn up, man. I'm turning the fuck up on this one, man. Uh, I just been in the I just been in the mood where I wanna make shit that's gonna get that. I want that reaction. I'm gonna get it from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want motherfuckers to like Turn on the track and instantly we we rocking. You know I'm bringing I'm bringing energy. I'm bringing clever witty shit. It's like a good indication of like the direction everything going in, man. I'm proud of it. I'm real proud of this one, man. This one was a lot of fun to make. Well, speaking of making it, who did you work with this time around? Who did you work with on the project? Uh, man, I got a uh, Casey Veggies, Jeremiah, Mac Miller, a Hit Boy. I got Chuck English on the production with me. Cardo on the beat. A Harry Fraud. Uh, man, it's some heavy hitters. I got some. I got some. I got some good shit, man. Definitely got some good shit on this one. I'm excited for this one. You being, you know, one half of the Cool Kids, and now you're doing this soul project right here. Would you say? Do you ever find it a little like, difficult or easier to create as a soul artist versus when you're in the group with Chuck? It's a little bit more work. You know, it's not more difficult, but it's more work uh, when you're doing stuff by yourself, you know what I mean? Because now you gotta like, you gotta find a way how to express yourself twice in the song, yeah. you know? Because I only do two verses, I don't do third verse. I feel like people's attention spans ain't long enough for three <laughs> verses nowadays. Like three yeah. verses, you, you reach it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I do two and then I'm done, but now you gotta like express yourself twice in a different way on the one song now as opposed to if you was doing the group thing, all you gotta do is share half the work. Now I got the whole workload. I gotta think of the concept, hooks, verses, all of that. In the group, sometimes I just have to do a verse, you know, yeah. or sometimes I just have to do a hook and a verse. And then he do his verse and then we out. But now that I'm, you know, doing stuff solo, you gotta like account for everything. Another thing I want to talk to you about is obviously, you know, Chuck. He got his project. He just dropped the workout, and now you got Lap of Luck. So, you know, are you guys just doing like the solo thing for a while now, or can people expect to hear like another Cool Kids album pretty soon? Or did, did you guys like just fall back from that and just see what you guys could do on your own? Man, honestly, uh, I feel like we are. I feel like we at a point right now where we gotta we gotta separate. We got to, man, cause like. So many people that came and like stole the style while we was waiting to put out our album. So many people came and swag jack like, you know, clothes and sound and styles and shit from us that to come out again as a group and like, you know, it's it just got weird for us, man, because like we look around, everybody like kinda stole our shit. So it's like, well, if we just do something completely different, that's not that's not real, that's not going, that don't, you know, that, that's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying, that don't make sense, so you can't just come and change into somebody else, do something completely different, but we have to somehow change the face of the group, change the appearance of the group shit, so like, people could like forget about it a little bit, and then we could fall back on it, and like, come back with it in a different way, man, because like, people that took so much from that, you know, we came in, and we was just like, doing us, and you know, industry kind of was just, they just jumped on it and kind of like sucked the life out of a lot of stuff. So we we got to like separate right now and like attack from different angles. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we can bring a refreshing outlook to, to the shit. Cause what's going to happen is I'm going to blow up more on this solo stuff. Chuck going to pop on this production stuff real tough. You know what I mean? And what that does is if we do come back together, it's more powerful now because we both have popped on the solo side of shit, you know what I mean? And it gives the group a whole new breath of air, you know? So we got time to like create something new because we got to make something new if we're going to come back out as a group. We got to make something, we got to like come from a different angle, you know? Like, can't just do what we already did, you know what I mean? Like, it don't feel right. We're not those same people no more, you know what I mean? We both evolved and grew so much since, you know, since then that 